guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today in today's video it's going to be a winter collaboration with somebody else here on youtube her channel name is andrea tejeda i will be linking her video down below we wanted to bring you guys a complete nail and makeup look for you guys to try this winter she is so talented in what she does um if you guys check out her channel i know you will agree with me number two I have been so sick with the flu for the past eight days. No lie, it's been like eight days. And I'm just feeling a little bit better. I am still coughing and like dying a little bit every time, you know, but I'm a lot better for the most part. And yeah, guys, without further ado. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go in and do is we're gonna go in with our MAC paint, which I don't know if they sell these anymore, even at stores, but this is like an eyeshadow primer basically. Put that all over your eyes to prime them and as usual guys you already know I always go in with my eyeshadows first so that if anything gets like messy or anything like that it's just way easier for me to clean it up the next thing we're going to be doing to start this look off we're gonna go in with a transition color the first one we're gonna be using is going to be this color right wait whoa whoa right here whoa, whoa. Jeez, <laughs> this one right here. And this is from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I actually did not purchase this palette. Ugh, sorry, I just didn't. My friend gave it to me. And so I was like, is there anything in here that I can use? Because I feel like I haven't really used the palette. It's not an ugly palette. I just, I don't know, the colors are not my jam. In this specific palette, Star putting that on as a transition color and putting that right in the crease and then just going back and forth back and forth back and forth making sure that I saturate that area thoroughly so that when I apply my other other colors they won't be as harsh okay and I'm gonna make sure that I start at the outer corner of the eye but I'm gonna bring that into the inner corner and I'm just gonna go in circular motions back and forth and okay, bringing it all the way in here. I'm gonna go in with my NARS bronzer and this is in the color Casino. And I'm gonna take this bronzer as an eyeshadow and I'm gonna go ahead and swipe my, swipe my brush right here like this. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that in my crease as well to give it more depth, more definition. Rocker, rocker and go back and forth again and then when I get to the end here I'm gonna start kind of bringing that out a little bit not a lot but just a little tiny bit because the crease the cut crease that look that we're going to be doing is not going to be very rounded it's going to be more um, kind of winged Now we're gonna go in with Swiss brown, Swiss. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, we're going in with Swiss chocolate. Got it? Okay, probably not, probably confuse the crap out of everybody, but you know, it is a very super pigmented color. I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it back and forth. Make sure that it's very, very pigmented. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and change and use more of a domed brush for that product placement. I'm gonna go ahead and place that right here, right into that crease. When it's more tapered like this, it helps you actually carve out the shape a little bit better. Once I do that, I'm gonna go back with my other brush that I used originally, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it some. So that there are no harsh lines anywhere. <coughs> now I'm gonna go in, guys, with a clean blending brush with no product on it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and forth, making sure there is no harsh lines. There are no harsh lines. We're gonna carve out the crease. We're going to do that with some concealer. We're going to be using our MAC for Longwear Concealer for this. Head Visual. 
I love this concealer. I really, really do. I have tried other ones. This still remains my top five. What, I don't even have five concealers. Top one. <laughs> We're gonna use this guy right here. Da -da -da. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that concealer. And I'm going to soak my brush in it pretty good. We're gonna start right here in the inner corner and bring it on up. Wait, why are you not focusing, Bo? You better focus. What I always do is I'll place the concealer right here and then I will look up. So wherever it gets, like up here, then I'm gonna go up that high with the concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and carve out that wing a little bit more over here. Okay, so once it's carved out, it's gonna look like that. I have to move back a little bit because the camera didn't seem to be focusing as much as I want it to. I'm just kind of looking at both of them now just to make sure that they like match. I'm gonna kind of go ahead with my beauty blender and just remove any of these, this little line that I see here because I don't want any lines here. Okay, I'm gonna go in now with some, just some translucent powder and a fluffy brush. We're gonna go ahead and set that concealer in place so that it does not move. So once that's set, then we're gonna go in with our liquid liner. And this is on silver, it's called Misty Me. It's one of the liquid last liners by MAC that lasts like a million gajillion years. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start applying that right where the concealer is. I mean, where the line is separating the shadow and the concealer. If there's a little bit of transfer, like whatever, it's not a big deal because your eye's gonna be open anyways. I'm gonna kinda just stay like this for a second and just see how it looks before deciding if I'm gonna put it all the way down there. And then in that little piece where I got some concealer, like, I mean some glitter, it's whatever, I'm not, I'm not that worried. Okay, so now that I went ahead and applied that glitter, we're gonna go in with some of our Ben Nye glitter glue. Get a pencil, uh, not a pencil brush, but a liner brush, point like this, so, so thin. And I'm um, dipping it in the glue, putting it on my eye, and then I'm dipping my brush really quickly into the holographic liner that I have. And I'm gonna go ahead and little by little just start applying. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and let that loose glitter, it's like 3D holographic glitter. There's a little bit of a fallout, um, but I don't think it's that serious, being that it's such chunky glitter. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our black liner, which is really gonna tie it together. So I'm gonna grab my liner from Inglot. It's just a liquid, no, not liquid, gel liner. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a angled brush. And we're gonna go ahead and line our eyes. Uh, I wanted to match the liner and so that's why I'm doing it like this. I'm gonna match it up. Okay guys and I think that that's good. Alright guys, so the lashes we're going to be using today are going to be So Extra Miami by Lily Lashes. They're already cut, so I'm just going to place them on my eyes really quick. 
So now that we've basically done our entire eye look, we're just going to wait for the falsies to dry. We're going to go ahead and start working on our face here. I'm going to be using the Derma Blend Leg and Body Foundation. I'm going to use that for my face today. I have used it a couple of times already and it's really, really nice and light and full coverage and I haven't gotten any breakouts from it which is good so I'm just wetting my beauty blender a little bit right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and place some of that foundation on the beauty blender and then apply it all over my face I know it is a lot darker than I am but that is how I like it okay so y'all don't sit there and judge me right god we all like things that we should not like but we like it anyways, don't we? I promise by the time I blend it out and finish, it'll look. Going with our concealer, the MAC Longwear again. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply this under our eyes. And the thing with this concealer is you gotta work really fast because once it dries, guys, like that is it. There's no going back. I'm gonna add some up here just to lighten the foundation a little bit more. This is also a body foundation and so we can put that all over our neck without feeling afraid that we're gonna get a breakout. It's non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna clog our pores or anything like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set that concealer with our fancy beauty powder and this is in banana i think yeah banana take it around here set under my eyes i'll probably leave it there for a little bit and i like using a brush because i just feel like it gets into all those little creases i have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes and I just really feel like the brush gets into those places where a beauty blender can't. I don't know, for me personally. And then one thing that I'm going to do while that is sitting there is I'm going to take my NARS bronzer again. And I'm going to take a small brush like this and I'm going to contour just a tiny little bit right here. big forehead <coughs> go ahead and we can dust off the powder We're gonna go ahead and do our brows really quick. So guys, this thing that I've been loving for my eyebrows right now, I'm gonna show you guys. But first, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Fill these in real quick. Okay guys, so while we're finishing all my brows, this is the trick I wanted to show you guys. It's a the Got To Be Glued um, from TG Bedhead. Right, is it TG Bedhead? I don't know, I don't know who makes it. And I just use the spoolie, right? So. This thing is made for like hairstyles where you want it to like stay like glued in a certain way all day. It's like so crazy sticky. Not sticky, but like hard. And I know there's like a soap trick for this. The soap trick has never worked on my brows. I don't know why. I don't know if I just don't have enough hair or what it is. But this has worked so, so well um, in making me look like I have so much more texture than I actually do in my brows and I've really, really been loving it. Once it dries, obviously it's gonna be like a nice matte finish. My eyebrow hairs will stay nice and like textured like that, which is what I want. If you want, you can take the spoolie and put them down or you can just kind of leave them like that. I'm not sure where that left off, guys, because my camera died. Um, but anyways, I'm just going ahead and wiping off all this extra powder. I'm gonna go ahead and add this like nude eyeliner to my bottom waterline here 
kind of open up the eyes a lot more like that. Okay, and now we're going to go in with a couple of the colors that we used at the very beginning. Swiss chocolate and soft brown. I'm going to mix them together with a pencil brush like this to smudge my bottom lash line out and smoke it out a little bit more so it's not so, so plain. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. the same thing in the other eye too and connect it back here well i'm gonna go in with my google lash mascara and do my bottom lashes which i think is really gonna help so I just look together. Once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush. I'm just gonna take that same brush that I use my bronzer with. We'll go in with this color right here. Right here. It's called Blush Baby. A very pretty, soft, mauve color. Once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and line our lips. I'm gonna use Cork by MAC. Then we're gonna go in with one of my favorite nudes, which is Well Bread Brown by MAC. Okay, and then my gloss which is my other fave by Tarte, Double Tap. And I feel like without gloss, like no look is really complete. I'm not a matte lipstick kind of girl. Let me set my face real quick with the Morphe setting spray. Oh my God, how could I forget highlight? What's wrong with you, girl? I have the prettiest finishing touch for this look. It's this very, very beautiful, beautiful. Silver. Oh, you can do me dirty like that camera. Final touch right here in our inner corner, which is an iridescent silver loose glitter, and it's also by MAC. I'm obviously gonna list everything down below. It really is just so beautiful in person. On both sides, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. And I promised I wouldn't go overboard with it, so I'm gonna try not to do that. All I did was wet my brush a little bit with some Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more just to kind of secure it right here. So I'm just gonna grab this highlighter from MAC. This one is called Superb. And I feel like I should be using something like more trendier, but you know, I'm just that kind of girl that sticks to what I know. And just put that flat in my cheeks. And down the center of my nose, of course, right here. Then I'm gonna grab a small eyeshadow brush real quick and grab some of that and put it up here on my brow bone to give it that final, like, stealing. We're gonna go ahead and also add some highlighter up here. I think that that is it, guys. I'm sorry I didn't brush my hair. I haven't, I honestly have not done it. I'm not gonna lie. You guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Again, don't forget to look down in the description box for all the products that I use and to follow me on social media and also do not forget to go check out Andrea's video, the person who I am collaborating with to give you guys a complete nail and makeup look for this winter. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like if you liked it. Mwah! Bye!